right, air purifier update. <laughs> You'll recall, I don't know, what was it back in, sometime several months ago, I got this Lavoie air purifier. I have been loving it. I, I have to say, I was one of those people, I was always like, whatever, air purifier. I never would have thought to, to have one. And I got this and it has totally changed my, my allergy symptoms. I, when I don't run it at night, I definitely have, have more like just kind of runny nose, itchy eye kind of symptoms the next day. This really, really helps. But the indicator light came on. And so it's about time for me to change the filters. I went ahead and ordered some more. This is the brand, by the way, it's Lavoie. I highly recommend. It's super quiet. Um, and it has a little indicator light that tells you when it's time to change the filter. You can set it on a timer. Very good quality. It has a nice, uh, quiet kind of kind of purr to it at night that I find very soothing and I almost can't sleep without it. It's like, oh, I need Lavoy. But um, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys the dirty filter. I don't know. Um, so uh, fast forward if this kind of thing grosses you out, but I'm intrigued to see what it looks like. <laughs> All right, so um, if you're not familiar, there's like a two-part filter system. There's a carbon filter and then this white one. I guess that's not that disgusting. I was expecting it to be grodier. Oh, that's a little grody, I don't know. Never mind, not as climactic as I thought. That's the carbon filter. I tell you to be very careful when changing this because otherwise you'll get black, black thing, little black spots on you, but. Um, yeah, I guess in comparison to the new filter, it is quite a bit, quite a bit dirtier. Here, let's do a side by side. Houston is uh, unfortunately has a bad reputation for having uh, poor air quality, high pollution. But yeah, cool. Ew, somebody, I think somebody above me is baking brownies right now. It's kind of early to be baking brownies, but no judgment. It smells delicious out here. <laughs> Nothing like an early morning uh, HEPA filter change and brownie fumes to get you, get you going. Okay, let's put the white one in next. Bada boom. And then our handy dandy little door snaps back in. Oh, so easy. All right, another three to four months, I think it is, of uh, clean air, air filtering. Oh, love it. Well, hey guys, what's up? It is Erin Day. I am tootling out to uh, do groceries. I'm going to the P.O. Box, and I'm actually hoping to go to Tuesday morning. They got some new inventory in, and I kind of want to look around. Um, yeah, the Lavoie air purifier this morning, the filter change, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't have a lot of pollution in my apartment per se, but... Uh, I love that thing. It really, I think it really does a good job. Maybe it's all in my head. This morning, I uh, you, I showed you guys, I started using the Elta MD um, SPF lip balm, and I really like it. I used it quite a while ago, and I don't know, uh, maybe a couple of years ago I used it, and I didn't care for it back then. And I think the reason I didn't like it back then is that at the time I was experiencing quite a bit of chelitis, dryness, peeling on my lips related to an aggressive gum chewing habit, which I have since curtailed. Got on back. Um, and so I found that it kind of like gooped up on, on all of my peeling, drying lips kind of thing, and I was not not enamored with it. And CeraVe healing ointment at the time uh, came in and rescued my rescued my chelitis situation, but I was kind of left without without a good sun protection, and then I started using the Vanny Cream one. The Vanny Cream lip protection does give quite a bit of a cast, but now that I am back to the Elto lip product, I don't know if they reformulated or what. It's very moisturizing, and the cast is very, very, is much more subdued than the, the Vanny Cream one. I really like it. I wish the tube were bigger. There were more product in there. It's hard to get. This, that, that particular size tube here, I have it here in my, my pocket. This particular size tube, focus. Um, it's hard to, you know, the first few applications you get, it's no problem. But once you get down to like the last third of the product, it's really hard. There's like that the air gap bubble. That's kind of annoying, but yeah. And I am back on UV Sport. 
I finished UV clear so that's my base layer sunscreen and I really like that it's a lot more more um, moisturizing I found with the UV clear I was burning through it because I kept reapplying it not so much for just reapplying sunscreen but uh, because I felt like my skin was not as moisturized with that one because it is a lighter vehicle it's more of a, a watery lotion but oh speaking of sunscreen and sun protection I saw a case of uh, lime essential oil phytophotodermatitis today I thought of you guys um, if you're not familiar I've talked about it before but essential oils particularly oil of bergamot um, uh, and citrus oils lime uh, lemon as well as fig um, when they, when those fruits and oils come in contact with the skin and then you are exposed to light ultraviolet light not just not just like going out on the beach ultraviolet light like the light that comes in through the window UVA can do this uh, can cause a really really bad uh, acute blistering uncomfortable rash and uh, I saw a case of it today <laughs> thought of you all uh, it was to lime essential oils that somebody had told the individual to to use that it'd be good for her skin it's not <laughs> so stop that but um, yeah I thought I'd share that with you all and it's been really rainy and cloudy lately I think the individual was kind of under the impression that because because it's not as bright and shiny out well today it is but over the past few days it's been terribly rainy that that uh, it would fade she suspected actually very she's very smart she suspected that the individual suspected that it was was something that was exacerbated by the sun but I had to had to let her know that sun is sun is even can can be still quite potent when it's cloudy out the clouds don't really don't really do a whole lot um so yeah that's Check out the pretty cards that came today. This one is a pretty bird with flowers. I love that. It's gonna look great on my um, my bulletin board. And this is a pretty unicorn. <laughs> How nice is that? I love these note cards. Thank you. And I also got a Snoopy card. He got a little folded. I think my uh, postal worker wanted to, to uh, put him as a scroll or something but isn't he cute with his little balloon there I certainly have a extensive fall decor inventory in these are kind of pretty hand soaps good housekeeping I bet they're drying what is this honey almond thankful Ooh, goose creek candle apple butter I'm currently burning the Tuscan Candle Creme Brulee. Really loving it. Wow, they got a lot of new new things in here. Oh. Although that tree looks a little squashed. But I, I really like the red truck with the tree in the back. Oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> These magnetic to-do pads are so handy. I find they're really helpful for my grocery lists and stuff. Although I'm currently using my uh, EC a little uh, sticky note one and I like that a lot. But I like this one with the cats. How cute is that? It's really bizarre music they're playing in here, but... <laughs> oh, I love these things. I don't know what they're called, but you put the candle in and it spins around. It's like an nativity scene. That one's really nice. That one's nice, the nativity. I love the nutcrackers. But I really like a traditional nutcracker. I don't like the nutcracker to be too modernized. These are okay. Like it's okay, I suppose, for the Nutcracker to be a baker or a traveler, <laughs> but like, I don't know. If I ever saw an, if I ever saw a Nutcracker with like a shirt that said "Chill Vibes" on it, I would be, I would be livid. That one's neat. It's not really a Nutcracker. It's this little jelly gnome dude on a mushroom. 
I'm over here in the craft section and I can attest to the quality of this American Crafts coloring markers brand. If you're ever in a Tuesday morning and you're curious about them, I got these for my mom and she uses them in her adult coloring books and really likes them. She has the metallic set too. They always seem to have a good selection of them here. Lots of nice yarns for scarf making. Let's see if they have any good planner stuff. Scrapbooking it looks like. But... Put up this pillow wall here that's kind of blocking things off. That's new. Oh, 3D cards. These are fun. I'm on the other side of the pillow wall, <laughs> and they just have more little office supplies kind of things, but I don't really see anything good for planners. These are nice though for storage, although they're the kind of things you'd always be juggling around on your desk. <laughs> like a very no cluttered surface. Oh, is this a pen bag? A little jewelry bag for traveling that's pretty nice you can snap in like your bracelets and necklaces there and then it's got these on the other side you can put your earrings in that's really nice msc main street collection they have it in pink and green and then what is this i'm not entirely sure i guess that turns into a little dish and here's just a little zippy pouch. Very nice. I've never seen these before. Well, Tuesday morning was a bit of a disappoint. Um, I was hoping they would have some of the DW home candles and you know some seasonal scents. They had a overabundance of those Goose Creek candles, which smell really nice. My problem with them, however, is that they're in that massive jar. I don't like the big jar, like the Yankee Candle style jar. I, um, I just find that it never burns very cleanly. Now, the Tuscany Candle Jar, it's a, it's a pillar, you know, like a large pillar. So I find that it, it burns more evenly, but those, those jars with that, bell lid i i don't know i i've always been kind of disappointed with them particularly when they're in that large size it's okay when they're kind of in the medium size but yeah although i do love a good yankee candle um and i do i do like the smell of those goose creek ones i smelled the maple um pancake one it was quite good <laughs> um i was tempted to buy it but decided yeah i'll stick with stick with Tuscany. I've never burned one of those Goose Creek candles before. Comment below on if you have, but anyways, I'm just touching up a little sunscreen here and about to head on into a Costco. These squishimals Costco got. Isn't he cute? This psychedelic little pig. Maybe it's a unicorn, I'm not sure. Oh, the cat. Oh, guys, they're really soft. This would be good as a as a reading chair. Like a reading, you know, to kind of prop up in bed and read. Oh dear. <laughs> I always wondered how long these things lasted for, as far as the battery life. <laughs> I wonder what becomes of your, your child if they have one of those. They turn into an aggressive driver. <laughs> A cocky driver. <laughs> See this 
Paw Patrol characters are really popular. For those of you with children, Costco has this $23.99 Paw Patrol Sea Patrol Racer gift set. I don't know, just this looks like something that would appeal to a child. I think it can go in the water. Okay, appeal to a child aside, it kind of, I kind of want to try it out. <laughs> Good to see that uh, good old-fashioned plastic dinosaurs are still a thing. Look at these Avengers. This guy has a uh, good uh, UV shield going on here. You could learn something. He's gonna get he's gonna get uh, squamous cell on his shoulder. <laughs> He commands this Costco employee's enthusiasm. He's always like trying to entice you to sign up for some, I don't know, thing, and no one pays attention to him. But he maintains his enthusiastic spiel for hours and hours on end. I would be exhausted being that joyful. Ooh, check it out. I don't paint my nails because I'm A, lazy, B, I can't stand it when they chip. Um, but I do like SE nail polishes. And this is $24.99. You get the three full-sized ones and you get the three minis. That's a great little set. I wonder how, like how old they are. They don't look too old. You know how when they get old they sort of separate? They look like they're still fresh. I like those colors though kind of muted and I love I've done these Karuna face masks before they're fun laden with fragrance um, before before I was on YouTube these were some of the first masks I actually ever tried um, the face mask I've never tried the hand hand mask before this one has glycolic and lactic acid in it okay um, and jojoba oil Imagine this would definitely be, yeah, this is like a little fragrance bomb. If you have hand dermatitis, any kind of hand dermatitis, don't do this. Don't be tempted to do this. This is like the worst thing you can do, actually. Um, it's got not only fragrance, but uh, the grapefruit extract. Oh, this is, when you're, when you have dry, parched hands, your skin barrier is so impaired that if you go putting this stuff on there, you're really setting yourself up for problems. Stay away from Karuna, Karuna Matata. <laughs> I have a foot mask too, 19.99. Looks like it has similar ingredients, only with coconut oil and shea butter instead of the jojoba and in the sock, sock form. This one also has fragrance. Ew, and tea tree leaf, leaf oil. Tea tree leaf oil really, really can be problematic. It can cause a lot of bad reactions in the skin, but it has actually been shown to be helpful for acne, no better than salicylic acid, and it has been shown to be helpful for toenail fungus. So, I don't know. This, this foot mask isn't gonna cure toenail fungus, but um, if they left the fragrance out of there, it might be a good, good thing for people with, with tinea unguium and tinea pedis. So I just sampled one of these and they are quite delicious. They um, they actually taste like Gardetto snack mix, believe it or not. They're not exactly healthy, but they are vegan. They're shiitake mushrooms that they basically fried in salty seasoning. I tried one, little little nugget. I'll show you here on the sample tray. They don't look super super appetizing, but they taste good. They taste like Gardetto snack mix. Reminder from uh, last year's Costco fail, don't buy these, they're terrible. $7.99, don't be tempted. The golden spurtle cooks in seven minutes. Ugh. The uh, Quaker Old Fashioned Oats though, this is a pretty good price. They can be kind of expensive in the grocery store. I just buy the Kroger brand of, of rolled oats, it's cheaper and tastes just as good to me. All right, first up, I took a little break from the the crunchy beet chips, but they're back. The Volupta dried beets, I really love these, and I OD'd on them, but uh, now now I'm craving them again, so I just keep, just keep coming back. <laughs> the fresh and quick 
spinach that I normally get at Costco was uh, not looking so fresh today. So I got Josie's Organic. Josie can be hit or miss. I actually don't recommend Josie's Organic. It's, you know, about 50-50. Sometimes the leaves just taste, I don't know, extra chewy. They're not great, but I, uh, I chose to get it. It looked okay this time, so that's that. This was a Costco I bought a trifecta. It was on sale at Costco, and then I think you get like 75 cents cash back on Ibotta. Guys, if you're not using Ibotta, I'm telling you, you are basically throwing money away. Ibotta and Ebates, you need them in your life. So I got, uh, these are the Zespri Kiwi Fruits, Sun Gold. They, um, one serving is two of these little guys, so they look good. Comment below, do you eat the peel or not? I always eat the peel. I know it's like really high in fiber and probably not recommended, but it never has bothered me. I can't be bothered to do all of that Scoopy Doodle stuff. It just makes a mess. I just eat it like, I just eat it like a plum. <laughs> um, and then at Costco, I got two heads of cauliflower excuse me, Kroger, two heads of cauliflower. And then, you know, Costco has really just stopped carrying my rice cauliflower. And I've been doing just regular cauliflower, but I, I got a bag at Kroger. It's definitely more expensive at Kroger than it was at Costco. Um, but I, I just got this for convenience sake <laughs> because the chopping up of the cauliflower, it doesn't take very long, but it's kind of messy and a pain. So I got this just to be lazy for a few times. <laughs> I also got a head of my signature Savoy. <laughs> I got two onions, a bulb of garlic. I have really been jiving on the on the turnips, you guys. Uh, I need to try the rutabagas that are right next to it to see if they taste much different, but these really don't have a whole lot of flavor. They kind of take on the flavor of whatever they're cooked in. I just chopped them up. They're kind of like a hot, they taste like a hybrid between um, almost like broccoli stalks and and like a, a radish almost. They really, they're pretty bland, but they're really good in soups and stuff. It's sort of a, a potato substitute. I think they're higher in higher in vitamins. I'm making that up. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, and then having my uh, fruit bouquet that, that we had at my mom's this past weekend got me wanting uh, some melons uh, again. So I got a cantaloupe and I have never really bought and sliced up honeydew. I've always eaten it, you know, served to me pre-sliced. So I'm going to, I'm going to delve into the dew. <laughs> um, then I got these three, what are these? They still have a sticker on them. Shall I own Honeycrisp apples? Uh, these were 99 cents for the three of them. And loving my radishes. I got three bags of radishes. And from uh, the the uh, clearance bin at, at Kroger, they have this organic red rice. I don't. I'm not really a huge. I'm not a huge rice fan, but I do like to put put like a few tablespoons of it. I know that sounds odd. Like why not a whole serving? But I don't like rice. But I kind of like that it thickens things. I was curious to try this. I've always wanted to try red rice, and I've also always wanted to try black rice. And this was on clearance for a dollar ninety nine. Woohoo, cheapskate! <laughs> Uh, the Simple Truth uh, sales are coming to an end. This is the the kind of bougier brand at Kroger. It's like they have a they have an organic subset and a non-organic. But they've been putting a lot of their the Simple Truth brand stuff on sale has been really marked down this past few few weeks, and it's about closing to an end. So I got the uns their unsweetened almond milk's pretty good. And then I also got the Simple Truth Organic Unsweetened Soy Milk. I really enjoy this one. And um, I like having soy milk mixed in with the different non-dairy milks simply because it has a higher, a little bit higher protein content. And honestly, this is probably one of the more nutritionally dense non-dairy milks. Almond milk is, let's face it, kind of just like water. <laughs> um, I also love this Blue Diamond Almond Breeze Almond Coconut Blend. So good. It really, this is the only coconut milk like non-dairy coconut milk type thing that actually tastes like coconut. I don't know what they do. They probably indoctrinate it with some sort of coconut fraud, but whatever. 
Um, and then on Ibotta, I got these Sunmade. There's a deal going on for Sunmade raisins right now, and these looked really good. The golden raisins. Um, plus these were on sale, so it was a it was a it was a uh, doable, not a trifecta. There wasn't a coupon, but they were on sale at Kroger. And then this also was on Ibotta. It's a little cutie convenience boxes. I basically just got this for nostalgia's sake. I know. Don't ask me. And um, then I got, I was going to get the jar this time, the, the big jar instead of these like um, wasteful little individual servings, but they actually didn't have the big jar this time of the unsweetened applesauce. Again, they keep running out of that, forcing me to, to buy these landfill suckers, but I got those. It's kind of nice having the little divvy, divvied out things anyways, I guess, just for, just for ease of not having a bunch of stuff open in the refrigerator, whatever. Um, and then I got a can of no salt added green beans because I was in the mood for them today for some reason. I just, I, I like eating these like, like a snack. <laughs> I will drain them and <laughs> just eat them like a snack because I'm odd. <laughs> and then I just put this away, but I pulled it back out. It is a bag of whole strawberries from Simple Truth Organic that I also got. These are frozen. So they will go back in. So because last week um, I went to that hydrofacial event thing, it was totally outside of my usual routine. It kind of threw off my usual grocery week. And so I didn't have a grocery vlog for you guys last week, but I swung into um, Fiesta and I purchased some Vegemite and I've been trying it out. Okay, I actually really like this. I do not recommend for Americans out there who have never tried it or, or anyone out there who has never tried it. I don't recommend eating it the way the Australians do because I think that you will be, I think that it will be off-putting to you. I think you have to gradually up titrate, up titrate the amount that you consume um, before you develop an appreciation for it. I am someone who really likes strong tastes and strong flavors, so I actually really like it. But um, it essentially tastes like bouillon a little bit. It's completely vegan. It has a strong malty taste to it. So I'm imagining that this will be one, a wonderful substitute for beer in um, recipes that call for like dark beers because it has that flavor to it, you know, like stews and things like that. It's really good. I just put like a quarter of a teaspoon in stuff in, in broths and it, it seasons it. It does have, a, it does have salt in it. Um, but it also has um, barley, so it's it's not gluten free either. It's got barley in it and wheat. Um, actually, it's from it's got yeast extract that was grown on barley and wheat, so it's probably not. Oh, and the malt extract is obviously from barley, so definitely not gluten free if you have to avoid gluten. Um, but it has a lot of B vitamins in it, folic acid, and it tastes really good. Um, so I'm enjoying it. I also like it mixed with apple cider vinegar. I know, a really strong taste as a salad dressing. It's very good. Um, you guys are out there from Australia who commented this, you're, you're absolutely right. It tastes nothing like nutritional yeast. It tastes, it tastes kind of like, like bouillon. So that's how I've sort of been using it and I really like it. But for at least, you know, the un, unfamiliar palate, I wouldn't go doing this the way at least the Australians say they do. They just smear it on bread. I think that you will find it a little too intense that way. Introduce it slowly <laughs> would be my recommendation. But I really like it. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Kroger and Costco. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.